Hey, Bob. Bob, what, Bob, what the heck are you doing, buddy? You're supposed to be here. Yeah, you're supposed to be here, Bob. Hey, Jenny. Hey, John. How are you guys doing? It's good to see you. Hey, you guys are at Six Springs Tavern. I know you don't, it didn't feel like it, Chris, but you are at Six Springs Tavern because that's where I am. And that's where the camera is, so you're here too, whether you like it or not. So uh, we are at Six Springs Tavern tonight. It is October 11th of 2018. Hey, Brad, what's going on, buddy? Come on, buddy. Step in here. So it is October 11th, getting close to Halloween, and... Our host is Six Springs Tavern, Dallas, located at, no, oh, Six Springs Tavern in Richardson, located 47 North Plano Road. Yeah. Is it, is it especially Richardson or? Yeah, we're in Richardson. But it's North Dallas, yeah. So, so, uh, are you drinking the same thing I am? Blue Moon. Oh, no. Mine, knew, mine looked a little darker. So, the, you guys remember Brad? Brad? Six Springs Tavern. This is the dude. You need to get in here, brother. There you go. There you go. That wouldn't get all of you. If we sit too close, they may try to braid yeah, our hair. Yeah, they braid our hair together again if we sit too close. Hey, but you know what? You're the reason that happened because yeah, well. <laughs> you came out here. Okay, cool, cool. So first and foremost, we want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, we thank you for watching this show at Six Springs Tavern. Uh, Six Springs Tavern. Bring you just some great music, a great original music, and uh, we appreciate your support of this venue and the bands that play here. So uh, get your ass down here if you're not on the way already. Tonight we have uh, Beth Lee and the Breakups. They're going to be here and they're going to play. In fact, Beth said that she's going to come out here, Brad, and she's going to chat with me uh, before the show. So we're going to like pick her brain and. Uh, and Chris Duarte is with her. Yes. Yeah. So uh, heard Chris at uh, Great Fest. Oh, okay. Just not long ago, September. I guess he played there. So yeah. So there, the Beth and Chris are going to put on a, quite a show tonight. We'll try to feed you guys some of it. But we totally appreciate your support, your likes, your loves, your shares, and uh, just keep in mind that without your shares, humankind or a big chunk of them miss out on this action because. Uh, Facebook's got me so locked down, I can't hardly share anymore. So I've got the same thing with us. I mean, we have so many events here that you know, <laughs> when it says invite friends, and they're like, you, no, they're you have no more invites left. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So. I'm the same way, man. I'm shut down more than I'm not. Well, I mean, you know, Facebook, it, it, you know, it's free. So, you know, right. I mean, you, you know they, they, you'd think the ad money would help, but, you know, right. they, uh, they're getting to us now, too, yeah. where, you know, if you want to boost a post, you, you know, pay. tell anybody about it, you got to you got to pay. You got to pay to play. But you know what? I created a share committee. Okay. I've got a committee of sharers. Okay. Believers. So that so they, they just pass your stuff. Around. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You can break up those genres and you can distribute them and everybody's got a little piece they share every week, every show. And you got you just got to build a share committee. There's great, always, great idea. There's always a way, brother. No, there is. Yeah, there's always a way. But we like our shares to happen organic anyway. Right. We don't want to pay to make people see our stuff. We want to do it organically and naturally. We want people to really like what we're doing and really like us. So we're doing it the right way. But remember, if your company wants to uh, host uh, a show at your venue, dc at barsidejob.com, and you want to advertise. And this is the place to do it, just uh, dc at barsidejob.com. We'll put you on the show. Hey, Winter, how are you? So all we need is somebody named Summer. Right. Then we'll have both. So uh, let's talk a little bit, uh, Brad, about the about the venue, about events coming up. Uh, you, what we got going on uh, from today on? Uh, well, tomorrow night we have uh, uh, Drew's Peace Crush, mm. and uh, their Roots Rock, uh, based here in Dallas. Uh, opening up for them is Yellow Number no. Five, which is organic hip hop. Yeah, uh, yeah. Really cool. They they've played here before, and. Uh, they're, they're a whole lot of fun. Uh, it's it's hip hop basically, but you know there are actual instruments on stage. There's not a whole bunch of pre-recorded right. singing over tracks kind of stuff. So you know that's the only way they got in the door actually. Right. Uh, and, and and I you know 
and then and I actually ended up liking them a whole lot. So yeah, we're, we're having them back. They're actually playing next weekend for our, our uh, uh, one year anniversary show on next Saturday night. So right, Saturday right. Night. Uh, and then uh, on Saturday night we have uh, some Austin guys, uh, American Dreamer. They're uh, orchestral folk is what they call it. Uh, it's going to be a whole big deal of, uh, I mean, wooden wire, uh, cello, stand-up bass. Oh uh, wow! Violin. Uh, you know, uh, getting back to the roots, roots groove and stuff. We like to mix it up here. It's just you know, I mean, you, you, oh, you yeah. do the same stuff over and over, and, and it gets boring for everyone. Right. And uh, then Thomas Sorba oh, opens, yeah. uh, opens up for them, and uh, he's uh, you know Woody Guthrie kind of that vein. Uh, Towns Towns Van Zant, uh, singer songwriter, right. you know, great great roots roots player. Uh, so that's uh, that's coming up this weekend, and then actually Sunday. We're uh, we're actually gonna start doing Sunday brunch here. Awesome! So, yeah, we've got a nice That's little. That's new. Brunch. Yeah, new. Yeah, this will be yeah. our, our first one. Uh, we'll be open from eleven until hmm, probably four or five, kind of depending on how the crowd goes. We'll have uh, live music, uh, no cover charge. Uh, uh, Hula Hayes kicks things off, and I think you saw. He's a great. Hula, yeah, Hula yeah. On, on your show last last or earlier in the week, I guess. Uh, yeah, last yeah, last, last week, Friday. Last week. Last yeah, Friday. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, so Hula's going to kick things off, and then Jenna Clark. Uh, oh, okay. Is, is going to uh, you know pick up after him and take us into the afternoon. Uh, got a great you know little brunch menu. We've got some some you know chicken and waffles and uh, uh, chorizo green chili hash. Uh, you know, just some some good good, some food. good brunchy grub. Yeah, yeah, hatch green chilies, not not you know they're hatch. Right, green the real deal. The real deal. Then uh, you know we got a brunch burger and with a fried egg and bacon oh, on top. Oh yeah, and, uh, wow. Migas and you know oh, that yeah, that, that kind of groove. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. digging that. Bloody Mary and mimosas. Oh yeah, and, mimosa. Oh yeah, yeah man. So, yeah. You're just yeah. You're drilling deep. Yeah, now. you know I mean the. Uh, you know, everybody likes their, their, you know, early Sunday buzz. And, uh -huh. and, uh, and then, you know, <laughs> you, you do it early and, and you can go home and, you know, still get a good night's sleep. And, that's right. And be good for Monday morning when you go to work. So that's not a bad deal. That's know? right. That's you know, right. That early drinking. You know? <laughs> Day drinking. Day drinking. Can do some of that. Awesome. What else we got coming on? Oh, well, I, I mentioned uh, next weekend we've got our mm. uh, one uh, one year anniversary. And, oh, it's gonna be uh, badass! And uh, we're getting close to sold out on that, so uh, you may want to hit the website. Um, tickets are we have like nine or ten acts through the course of the day. We start around three, if I remember correctly, and go till midnight. Uh, one dollar, one dollar gets you in. Uh, but wow! You, but you can't pay at the door. You have to buy online. Uh, your name has to be on the list. Wow! So, yeah, we're, we're gonna put a velvet rope out front and everything. It's exclusive. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't exclusive. know. If we'll, I don't know if we'll go that far, but. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, it's you know I mean we want people who uh, who are here to kind of want to be here and not right. just wander in randomly. So we're right. you know kind of you have to buy a ticket and get your name on the list. Or well you know you can give us a buck here too and, and pay in advance I guess. But, but dog, that's cheap. Yeah, dog, well you know I mean it's one year one buck you know and then next, oh that's cool. Next year we'll go to two bucks or you know you know we live we we do it a hundred years. I mean that would be a pricey ticket but oh yeah but my kids will be dealing with that i won't be doing that so. <laughs> probably grandkids by then probably yeah. so. grand grand dogs right. right they got a new dog oh no yeah yeah where is uh all right where's, where's, your where's carrie we need, we need, we where's Zydeco? Where's Zydeco? We want to introduce you. We got, we I don't, have we introduced you to Nola before? I think Nola's, Nola's made, Nola an made an appearance. Has Nola made an appearance? Yeah, Nola's made an appearance, yeah. We, we need to get Zydeco on here. Cause Zydeco that's... Lee Bone. Really? Yeah. We've got a first, middle, and last. Oh, all our pets do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, Nola is Nola Marie Laveau. And, uh, that's awesome. And, uh, and Zydeco Lee Bone, uh, uh, I used to... <laughs> Zydeco, you know, because cool. we, we, we kind of have a, a, a Cajun or New Orleans theme with all our pets. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Enola. No, yeah. And, and at home, we have a, we have two big dogs, and uh, and uh, one is uh, Mojo, and the other <laughs> the other is Boudreaux. So, no way. Yeah, Mojo, Boudreaux. Oh, Nola. oh, here we go. Here's Zydeco. Yeah. Here, guys. Z How old? Six weeks, guys. Zydeco Lee Bone, his first television appearance. Six weeks, right here on TV. Yeah, yeah. Right here. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Look at this, guys. 
Look at that. Isn't that precious? Damn. We'll get a million views on this oh, animal gun. Cute puppy give video. Them a, Cute puppy yeah, video. give them a puppy or a, or a baby. Yeah. It's all over. Yeah. They'll smoke the system. <laughs> Take that, we Facebook. going to break the internet. <laughs> Look. You want to say something to them? Say, get me well, the he, he, he can bark. Hell. Believe me. He oh, can, can bark. He? Oh, yeah. He's... But right now, he just like likes to sleep, mainly, pretty much, yeah. What an awesome, awesome little puppy. Yeah. Zotico Lee, and then, you know, uh, Bone is actually kind of after, uh, uh, in, in homage to Pawnee Bone, who passed away here. Oh, uh, yeah. Not long ago, so, yeah. yeah Zotico. Yeah. So. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, you guys, Brad and Carrie are awesome people. If you guys are looking for a place to book, uh, you got an original act. These guys are awesome to work with. Just trust me on that. And this venue is like freaking awesome. So much seating, it's clean. Two, 250 actual seats, yeah. You can yeah. Sit, sit in. So. Great stage, amazing sound system, great sound guys, great bartenders, amazing food. Oh, it's just, uh, you know, it's a great location, you know, right here. Just yeah, I mean, and, and plenty of Free parking, parking you know, front free, and back. Free parking, yeah. front and back, and you know it's it's, it's huge. Yeah, yeah. It's an amazing yeah. place. Hey, Rock Tight. Hey, Louie. So, let's get to the serious stuff, though. Yeah. Show specials, like four dollar. You call it? Yep. Crown and crown and down. We we have a couple that are top shelf that cost a little bit more, but yeah, pretty much everything crown and down four bucks. Uh, Two dollar wells. Two dollar. Uh, Three dollar uh, Lone Star and PBR Tall Boys. There you go. Yeah, and uh, and I don't know. Uh, Is the quesadilla still? I don't know. They uh, they don't. It inform changes. Me. They, the kitchen. <laughs> they cook what they yeah, want. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> but it's good. They they put what they want on special pretty much. Right. So I don't know if that's still tonight's or. What's the special? David. All of it. Okay. See, see, and and the reason I'm here is you know you know. On, on this one is David was supposed to be our cook was supposed to be sitting in here supposed to be but somebody ordered food so here I am so now <laughs> yeah second string right first string second right, string right and then gosh that that only gives us two more people that we could like talk to uh, I know we're gonna have to hire more staff Dave, David and Winter <laughs> we're gonna have to hire more staff so I don't that, know. You know so that we have people for you to talk to I think know, what we need to tired do. of talking to us Brad we need to get the dude who cleans the bathrooms well, well you know because that person is like freaking. That, that, that's still us, though. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, y'all do a good job because yeah. the rest. Huh? Six dollar sliders and fries. I think that's pork or brisket. Oh wow! Yeah. Six dollar sliders and fries, guys. The fries are awesome. Sliders are good. I've, I've had them all, both the pork and the brisket, so they're all good. So uh, you know what? We ought to like uh, bring in our star of the evening. I think we should. We should, Beth. Bye, guys. We'll see you, Brad. Thank you, buddy. Okay, so before I bring Beth up, <laughs> no, sit down here, Beth. I want to get your reaction while I talk about you. So if I screw it up, I almost said the naughty word. If I screw it up, you'll give me, like, some facial reaction. Do you want something to drink? No, I'm good. You sure? Yeah. You paused it? Okay, I'll take a drink. What do you want? A whiskey and soda. Hey, Mark. Oh, winner. Whiskey and soda. Okay, never mind. We got it. So, Beth, let me tell you guys about Beth. Okay. She's based Austin, Texas. She grew up on the grit and soul of Houston, the Houston music scene. And her dad was a long time, or still is, I guess, a long time musician. Uh, he moved to Austin, but yes, still yeah. a musician. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, of the Bayou City. Um, since 2008, Beth has been playing live and recording her original music with Austin musicians that have an ear for her songwriting ability. And her influences span generations of blues, country, rock and roll greats that led her to a unique, soulful, country-tinged brand of roots rock and roll. And that just sounds really cool. <laughs> so... Uh, with her 2013 release. Cheers. Oh, you're not on camera. Get in here, Beth. <laughs> My gosh. Get close. Get close. <laughs> okay. 
All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, so. Cheers. I'm a camera whore. I love the lens. Do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> so with so with Beth's 2013 release, one more time again, uh, and debut debut as Beth Lee in the breakup, she began honing in and developing her energetic live performances, which we're going to see one tonight. Her soulful heart on your sleeve songwriting style evolved to include a sultry sassy rock and roll edge her most recent album keep your mouth shut i love the lyrics by the way <laughs> released may 5th of 2016 garnered positive reviews from independent radio and roots publications including a number 19 rank on the americana music shows year-end list and a flattering review from kutx's laurie gallardo gallardo G what she said, who coined the sound as country fried rock and roll. Country, that's really cool. Country mm -hmm. fried. Except it's rock and soul, but yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah rock and soul. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he says it right. Rock and soul. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it was also listed in Alternate Root Magazine and Third Coast Music Magazine as one of the year's top picks. Hey, Bradley. <laughs> Uh, Beth is planning a new studio release for 2019. Wow, that's coming up pretty quick. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna start recording in 2019. Right. Right. Hopefully. Oh, you'll start recording. Yeah. When are you gonna Hopefully. finish recording? Hopefully by the end of the year, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. And continues to tour frequently throughout mm -hmm. Texas, the Southeast, Midwest, New Mexico, and Colorado, solo and with her band, Beth Lee and the Breakups. So that's freaking awesome. So how are you doing? I'm good. Good, you're tired. Yeah, a little. Just drove in from Austin. Yeah, going yeah. to Oklahoma tomorrow. Yeah, Muskogee, of yes. all places. Never been to Muskogee before. You haven't? Uh, oh, no. what a treat that's going to be. Right, uh, my, I've got friends in uh, Tulsa, up in that part of the country. Okay, up we'll be there too on Saturday night. Oh, will you? Mm -hmm. In Tulsa? Yeah, yeah. okay. Well, yeah. I'll tell them to come see you. Where are you playing? Uh, it's a brewery. Um, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but okay, all right. Soon. Well, I'll, I'll let them know that you're going to be up there. They may they may want to come just hear you. So mm -hmm. tell me, like, who have been your influences musically? Um, as a teenager, I started off listening to classic country, uh, Patsy Cline, really? Hank Williams, and then I kind of veered more towards the rock and roll. I got a, a rockabilly guitar player from Houston and. Started listening to Wanda Jackson, and I always loved Elvis as a kid. Right. Um, but then the Rolling Stones. And they oh yeah. Kind of came into play, and then also a lot of blues. So old right. blues, Robert Johnson, and oh yeah. Uh, I always loved Susan Tedeschi, and yeah, um, Sue Foley, a bunch of like Austin people. So, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you got a lot of pick, lot to pick from, from in the yeah. Austin crowd. There's always Bob Dylan. But, you know, oh God, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stone, you're a big Stones fan. I do like the Stones a lot. Yeah, yeah. love the Stones. I saw them in 2006. I don't know. Yeah, where were they? Uh, Zilker Park in, in Austin. Oh, okay, Texas. okay. So, good show. Yeah, it's cool. Did you have a good seat? Well, it was. There weren't seats. A it good was, seat on the ground. Yeah, it was right. They had this big <laughs> platform that moved like all the way out into the audience, and I was right in front of the platform. So about. For like five minutes, I could see Keith right there. Mm. Was it awesome? It was cool, except for they were doing Get Off of My Cloud. So when everyone was singing, hey, hey, that was like, <laughs> it was off. Oh. Because it was so far away from oh, the yeah. stage. But it was cool. <laughs> yeah. You heard it in phases, kind of, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me about your family. I know your dad is um, really yeah, they're musically inclined. Yeah, he's a great songwriter, plays keyboard, bass, and um, does all that. My mom uh, lives in Austin, and we're, we're close, I see her a lot, but she's not very school. She, you know, she's responsible. Right, <laughs> right, right. So. S siblings? Nope, only child. Really? Yes. So you're just like spoiled rotten. Red-headed, left-handed, only child. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
So you so. you play left handed? Nope. No, I play. I play okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That would be crazy. Though. Yeah, it would wouldn't it? Yeah. So husband, boyfriend. Um, no husband. Maybe a boyfriend or boyfriend two. or two. Yeah. Boyfriend or two. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, wow. Just a couple. Yeah. yeah. Probably yeah. got a whole group <laughs> following you around, stalkers. <laughs> so, uh, pets. No. No pets. No. Did you see Zydeco? I. Uh, how did can you, I follow a you? puppy? Like, <laughs> that's not fair. Wasn't he cute? Very cute. Oh, well, he was adorable. Love Zydeco. I like Noah too, but Zydeco's pretty cool. So, what's your favorite thing about living in Austin? Um, Is there one? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the pe I guess the people, the musicians. It's, yeah. You know. It's like, yeah. I hate to say it, but community, you know, like, yeah, yeah it's just, I don't get that vibe from any other, I'm sure it is other places, but. Dallas is really pretty hopping. Yeah. You know, music wise, but I know Austin, yeah. What's, yeah. Your, what's your least favorite thing about Austin? All the musicians. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, well, it's too much comp a lot yeah, of competition. Yeah, yeah, well, well, all the musicians, the ones that are you know, watering down the yeah. town and the money and all that, so. Yeah, yeah. And the traffic, of course, but that's oh, yeah. a cliche thing to say about. No, the traffic, though, it is. I mean, it's it's awful going through there. Yeah. Yeah, and it just doesn't get any better. It just gets worse every time I go, so. Well, you know, we have a ton of tribute bands up here. Do you have a lot of tribute bands in Austin? There's a few. They're probably the ones that make money, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, there's a Tom Petty one I know about that's really good. Really? But one of the like Stones tribute bands. I think somebody should do that. Yeah, we've got a couple up here. Um, Stonely's and the Satisfaction. Satisfaction, actually, those guys tour. They play. That's all they do. It's their full-time gigs. So they, they're all over the United States constantly. Mm -hmm. But uh, Stonely's, I know those guys have other jobs. But, um, but both of them are, are kind of our local Stones band. We'll start an all girls Stones cover. Oh, band. yeah. That would be fun. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. You should do that. <laughs> I don't see why not. I don't either. Yeah. Let's just start it today. Okay. <laughs> I'll manage. You, you play. <laughs> who are you going to Who are you going to be? Keith Richards. What Keith do you mean? Richards, of course. Who well, else would I be? I don't know. Yeah. Well, you could be Mick Jagger. I guess. Maybe. Can you sing? Can I'm you not sing? that flamboyant. <laughs> I know you can sing. I've heard you. You guys are really good. You're really good. Thank you. But you guys are really good. Chris is good too. He's okay. He's okay. <laughs> he played Great Fest. I heard. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's huge. Cool. That's huge. Next year you gotta. <laughs> it's yeah. huge in Grapevine to play Great Fest. Right. <laughs> so George Jones or Led Zeppelin? Oh man. Mmm. Uh, you're a raised go. country. I'm gonna go to George Jones. Really? Yeah. Gosh. I did see I did see Robert Plant the other night though, and it was great. Where'd you Where'd you see him? Uh, in Austin at the oh, okay. Theater. Yeah. With Listen to Williams was opening. Oh okay. Oh yeah. I'm I think not... that was a good show. Yeah, I heard it was. Yeah, I mean, I was there. It was great. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you heard it. I heard it was good. I was there, but like, I was drinking, so I was drinking. I was... Smoking, so. Well, I was like, you're going to get the large one? I was like, yeah. <laughs> the large. Yeah. I know, they have small and large. So I, <laughs> Turns out the large is like a pint or something. Yeah, because you're not a, you know, yeah, you're but... a little bitty thing. Your teeth are tiny. Mm. So, yeah, it probably didn't take a whole lot. No. We're slow down. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about you people from Austin. <laughs> yeah. <Right>. Sixth Street. <laughs> you ever played on Sixth Street? Yeah. Um, a bunch? No, not a lot. No. Played a blues bar called Friends with Chris. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Played at one other place I can't remember the name of, like Chug and Monkey or something, you know. They're all animals with, like, you know, yeah. I can't think of the grammar word right now in front of them, but yeah, descriptive words, adjectives in front of animals. Right. Like every, everywhere on 6th Street. Dizzy Rooster. I don't know. Oh, yeah. There's one a couple places. Oh, they used to be, but they changed no, names no, pretty I often. <laughs> Oh, they're not anymore. No, 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 not really. Friends yeah. is cool, but yeah, no. Is it kind of deteriorated? A little bit, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah I haven't been down there in forever. So, yeah. what do you tell us? What do you enjoy most about what you do? Um, I'd say probably the performance aspect. Um, 
I mean, I, I like writing, but I've always, everything I've ever wanted to do is involved performance. So, I mean, <laughs> I don't like oh, to her. smile. Oh, <laughs> her. You don't want me to smile. Yeah, blame it on me. Tell them I'm like pinching you under the table. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be the one. And the music's cool too. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You like the traveling though, right? I do like traveling. You can see cool places like Muskogee. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Richardson. I, don't knock it till you try it. That's oh, I know. I I'm, just, know. I'm just kidding. Those are cool places. <laughs> totally. So, tell me something interesting about you that probably no one knows. Oh, my mm. God. Mm. Um, something like that's really tough. way back in there that I've never talked about. Right. Um, what do I got? Something interesting. I was a cheerleader in junior high. Were you really? Yeah, and high school, actually. Wow, a cheerleader? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, they used to tell me to smile. <laughs> like what they're doing now? <laughs> smile, Beth! Mm -hmm. You're a cheerleader. Yeah. So tell me one of your cheers. I don't remember that. Oh, you do too? No, I don't. You know a cheer? Tell no. me a cheer. No. Don't you remember a cheer? Be aggressive. Be -E aggressive. <laughs> That's the only one aggressive. I remember, for real. I don't, was that really one? Yeah. Be -E aggressive. That's like the most famous cheer, I think. I don't know. Really? I, I never was a cheerleader. I don't know about cheers. <laughs> be aggressive? Yeah, B E A G G R E S S I V E aggressive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I, I've never been a cheerleader. I don't know how to do that crap. All right. Well, that's cool. So tell us what, what you got going on. What new projects? What... I'm trying. Well, I'm trying to narrow down some song, like song lists I have from the last uh, five years. Trying to figure out what um, what I'm going to record on the next album, what style and genre it's going to be, and all that. Right. And then I'm also um, working with this band that's all girls, but oh, we wow. don't. We originally started off trying to be kind of like an Amy Winehouse kind of type cover band, but it's it's almost all originals now. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, that'll I, be fun. Yeah. We got a sax player, and uh, uh, we did a, we did have a keyboard play, player, but I'm the one playing rhythm guitar. We got another gal playing rhythm guitar and lead, and then um, a bass and drums. You know, so. Awesome. Yeah. It's called Miss Guilty. Miss Guilty. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. You guys already are playing? Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. You're booking gigs now? Yeah. We, we play about three or four times a month in Austin, oh, okay. maybe a little less, depending. Yeah. I mean, to get five girls together, like, to rehearse and play shows is yeah. pretty it's big, tough. big and tough. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. <laughs> tough. But so, fun. Rewarding. Yeah, well, that's cool. And then you've got the album that you're going to start recording. Yes, I need to do that very Did soon. Did you already name that album? The one that's coming up? Yeah, uh, you're going to record in 2019? I have the name, but I'm not going to tell you. Oh, you're not? No. You're going to keep it a secret? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you going to tell? Uh, probably when it comes out. <laughs> Whatever that is. Sometime maybe in 2019. It's going to happen, yeah. Yeah, cool. Why, what did you name it after? Um, a Ramon, well, a song that the Ramones covered on one of their albums. Hmm. So, I don't think it was their song. I might be mistaken. It might be their song. I don't know. I don't think so. But it's related to R Ramones. Yes. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So, if people like want to contact, I still want to hear that cheer. Can you do it? No, no, no. no. <laughs> so, if people want to contact you, they want to like, you know, find out your schedule. Mm -hmm. If they want to book you, how do they reach you? Bethlee.net. Bethlee.net. That's your website. B e t h l e. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. cool. So, if they want to book you, or if they just want to, you know, find out more about you, buy an album, or buy a CD, or... Yeah, they can do all that there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there too. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. And... What else? What else are we talking about? Anything? I think you missed a question. I uh, probably did. Let me see. Let's go back and look. <laughs> I mean, it's 7.31, but... Oh, do you eat kale? 
I do. I love it. Do you really? Yes. No, you're jacking with no, me. No, I. Somebody sh- told you to say no, that. No, no, no. No, I, you're I love lying. kale. I swear. I make this dish with chickpeas and kale and I tomatoes, and then I put like cur- you know, like turmeric and cumin in there and some rice. It's so good. Oh wait, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 cause I drink hot tea with turmeric and turmeric okay. ginger and cinnamon. But, oh, ginger, yeah, I put ginger yeah. in there too. But the only way I eat kale is if it's mixed with other greens or if it's in a smoothie. I'll, but I don't eat it, you know, like so you don't lettuce. Like it. But, no, it's too bitter. Oh, I love it. Do you really? You like yeah. that bitterness? Well, I put I put some um, what do you call that? Mirin, like rice wine. Yeah. And it's got it's really sweet. Put oh. that in there with a little bit of vinegar. It's and you good. fry in a pan. Yeah, and then add some tomatoes, so it's kind of sautéed. Right. Yeah, it's good. Gosh. Try it. Yeah, cool. I need to check out that recipe you got going there. <laughs> I had to maybe put, post that on my Facebook page. Be Beth Beth Lee's kale. Kale and chickpeas. Yeah. Kale and ch- really, we need to do that. We need yeah. you need to put that on your album cover, your recipe for kale, because <laughs> everybody, you know, it's very healthy, but everybody hates it because it tastes so bitter. Yeah. That's cool. That I thought somebody was pulling my leg because everybody <laughs> says usually says they hate it, and you're like, oh yeah, I like it. I was like, no, you're. You're screwing with me now. <laughs> Beth, it's been a, a really a pleasure meeting you, and I appreciate you doing this. And we, we really look forward to hearing you play. I love your music. I've listened to several of your songs before today, and you're really awesome. And with you and Chris, I really look forward to hearing you play tonight. So uh, I'm going to let you, it's 7.33, so I'm going to let you go do your, oh, oh, we didn't get you to play one. I want to play one. Can you play real sure. quick? Yeah. Will you play a song for us? You guys want to hear a song? Beth Lee, just for me. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this isn't awkward at all. No, not at all. But this show is all about being awkward. Right, guys? <laughs> we like awkward. I'm not shouting. I'm not blind. Watching the city. From the countryside You never told me You'd see me tonight And I was your last fear At closing time
Wow, Beth, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, Beth Lee, singer, songwriter, kale leader, <laughs> cheerleader. She's done freaking everything. Go see her. She's all over the checker schedule on her on her uh, website. She's all over the place, and uh, but she's based in Austin. So uh, check her out. She's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Beth. You're Thanks. awesome. Hey, uh, Winner, can we get a pic can I get a picture real quick with Beth? Guys, stand by. Thank you so much. So, guys, that was Beth Lee, and we're going to let you uh, we're going to let you uh, stalk her a little bit tonight when she's on stage and hear a little bit of her stuff. But she's really awesome, so you need to check out her stuff. Um, I've got one more Barside Jive Live show left this week. Uh, crying is acceptable. I know it's pretty upsetting to know this is like we're approaching the last one. Mother Truckers tomorrow. It's Mother Freaking Truckers tomorrow. Uh, Motown from Little Green Men and Dallas Cooper and Blonde Sabbath and the Michelle Johnson Band and every other band that guy's in. He's going to be on the show at Mother Truckers tomorrow. So come by and hang out with us at Mother Truckers and hang out with Motown and me and his bass. Um, or watch us live on Instagram or Facebook. And we would uh, appreciate your attendance. Hey, Jimmy, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Louie. So uh, remember to come out to Six Springs Taverns. Uh, Six Springs Tavern today, tomorrow, the weekend. Got some great stuff coming. And I always tell them DC sent you because, you know, special pricing. <laughs> Just tell Brad, hey. I need the DC discount, Brad. Whatever that means. And remember, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, remember, BarsideJive.com is the window to everything Barside Jive. And uh, advertisers go here. So if you want to advertise, this is your spot right here. So contact me, DC at BarsideJive.com, and this is where we're going to plug you right here, reserved for you. And our photographer tonight is Winter Piguero. I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. So, um, so Winter does an amazing job with her photography, and she's a singer songwriter herself. And in fact, I may post a video that she did where she sang recently. It's very, very good. So, guys, we're out of here. Uh, Chris and Beth are getting ready, so we're going to turn it over to them. But don't forget to share the show, uh, especially right now because I'm blocked again. And uh, <laughs> Help us spread some love. Good God, we need it. And uh, be kind to one another and keep it real and keep on rocking. And we'll see you at Six Springs Tavern next Thursday at 7 p.m. So, and then, of course, Mother Truckers tomorrow at 1. And so have a great evening. Have a great Friday and weekend. And we'll see you real soon. Thanks.